Welcome to EEC Atolls. Once again, we bring to you more information on the British travellers into the EU zone. Um, this is to, to today's uh, video is to do with the new EU rules on British passport validity. And so today we're talking about the three months remaining on exit rule. Uh, now, Simon Calder, he is... Um, He's a travel correspondent for the Independence uh, newspaper. He wrote an article on the 8th of August 2023 outlining this new rule which will apply to the validity of British passports in the EU zone. Now, you may probably come to that realisation that since the exiting of uh, uh, British people uh, from the European Union, uh, at the end, basically, come to the end of the transition period, the British passport is actually changed in colour. So previously it was a burgundy kind of colour. But if you do, if your passport does expire and it comes to its renewal um, period, you will then notice that um, it will change to a navy blue colour. Now, to do with the um, this new rule, so basically, is to do with um, is to do with the fact that now, if you are entering the EU zone, you must place yourself in a situation whereby, on the date of exit, you must have at least three months validity on your passport. Now, some people may make that mistake and say, okay, um, is this like a rule where you need to have um, six months uh, validity on your passport before you enter the Schengen zone or the EU area? The answer is a no, that, that is not an issue. The issue, the emphasis is actually based on the exit. So this rule is called the three months remaining on exit rule. So you must actually ensure that on the day that you are leaving the EU, you will at least have three months validity on your British passport. Now, since when did this take effect? This took effect um, at the end of the Brexit transition period, which was the 20th, uh, uh, January 2021. So this is the time that this um, uh, rule took effect. Now, how does it really work? So basically, the way that it works is that if you're a British traveller into the EU zone, your passport must have at least three months validity on the last day when you exit that EU member state. And as I mentioned before, it does not necessarily apply that you need to have six months validity to actually enter the zone. Now, the second aspect also is to do with the type of passport that you have. So normally, it was the normal practice uh, before that when, the, when your passport, when your British passport is issued, the passport office in the past were kind of quite generous in the way that they used to give you the number of years. Normally, a passport should be valid for 10 years. But it was normal practice for the British passport office to issue you with a passport that was 10 years and nine months extra. So before you could use this passport in the EU and use it elsewhere. But uh, since the end of the Brexit transition period, which was the January 2021, another rule has also come into force in relations to that 10 year plus nine months um, uh, passports that uh, were issued before by the passport office. The new rule in, in the EU, because now Britain has become a third member state and obviously a non-EU member state, the European Union is requiring every traveler to have a passport that is valid 10 years not 10 years, nine months, 10 years. So this um, issue came to the awareness of the British Passport Office in September 20, uh, was it 2019, uh, 2018, September 2018. 
is when these came into uh, obviously the British passport office came became aware of this issue and therefore since that date since September 2018 all passports that are issued by the British passport office are valid for 10 years not 10 years nine months so in effect because of these new uh, rules or changes um, obviously as detected by the European Union uh, when once the British passport office detected this problem they basically uh, uh, brought an abrupt end to you know the, the, their previous um, procedure of when they were issuing the passports for 10 years and nine months so that in effect has actually stopped and so um, some people may ask that, um, well, I will probably go a little bit deeper into this and give an example because I think that will help. So we make an example. Uh, so, for example, somebody may have been issued a passport in, say, October 2012. Now, this passport would have been valid till somewhere maybe February 2023. So ideally, such a passport should have potentially come to an end at October 2022. But because of that nine months, it would have been that plus the nine months. So then that extends into 2023. So for example, um, the effect of this 10-year one, this 10-year um, system, uh, or i.e. 10-year validity on the passport, really kicked off on the 1st of November 2022 that is when it really took effect so for example if one wanted to use that passport uh, to travel into the eu zone say january 2023 when that passport would have still been valid these people would have been rejected or denied entry into the eu zone so i'm going to go over it again so let's say a passport is issued on the 12th of october 2012 so then it would have been ideally valid till october 2022 but because of that nine months grace period which um, the british passport office used to give that is uh, before september 2018 this passport would have been valid well into 2023 but say obviously the the rule kicked in uh, first november 2022 um, no, yeah, 1st November 2022. And so let's say somebody had that passport and wanted to travel, say, January 2023, of which time this passport that was issued in 2012 would have still been valid because of that nine months grace period. This person will be denied entry into the European Union zone. So it was only after September 2018 that the British passport office became aware. And so uh, they actually brought an end to this um, passports that were issued with 10 years, nine months. In, in effect, my passport, for example, which I renewed, I think in December 2015, um, ideally will be going to December 2025. But in effect, my passport expires somewhere in 2026. Now, because my passport is actually issued within this past 10 years, if I was to travel, I can actually use that passport without any problem uh, because it's got, obviously, it's been issued within the past 10 years as I um, uh, do or as I won't intend to travel. Um, and so... This is the new uh, rule which um, travellers, British travellers into the EU zone must be made aware of so that when they have these um, sort of old passports, it will be probably advisable for them to actually have this passport renewed as soon as possible so that they don't actually get to that uh, border point and then get denied access into the European Union zone. Remember that this is applicable to 
um, air travel, sea travel, and also land travel, i.e. travel by train. Now, the European Migration and Home Affairs Department of the European Commission in Brussels have explicitly stated that British travellers must show passports issued within 10 years uh, to gain entry into the European Union zone. And so just as you may recall with my uh, previous example showing that passport that was issued in uh, Oct uh, October 2012, traveling January uh, 2023, because of the 10 month, ten years, 9 months validity, will be denied access into the European Union zone. Now, because all this is very new, there is that tendency where a person may be wrongly denied access because this is all new and so it can be one may find themselves in a situation where you know you get to the border and maybe the border control person inspecting your passport may make a mistake to deny you access into the European Union or Schengen zone now if that happens what kind of redress do you have uh, as far as um, uh, Simon Calder uh, is uh, stated in his article in August uh, 2023 if that should happen the person um, obviously the victim will have access uh, to compensation and the compensation amount is um, um, is two levels basically one is for 220 pounds and then the other is for 350 pounds depending on maybe the type of ticket that you bought and the duration of the ticket. So this is the only redress that you may be able to, or compensation that you may be able to claim from the European Commission or the border control that denied you the, uh, denied you the access. Uh, questions are also being asked as to whether this, um, you know, the three months, uh, uh, I may probably have to, yeah, the three months remaining on an exit and the, and the 10 year uh, passport validity requirement, are they obviously uh, um, joint or are they together? The answer is that it's a no, they are separate. So you basically need to uh, satisfy, satisfy each aspect. Um, of, of the of the of the rules that are set up by the uh, uh, European Union, you must satisfy that. There is also the question asked as to as to um, travellers into Ireland, into mainland British travellers into mainland mainland Ireland, because obviously we understand that mainland Ireland is part of the U European Union. But the arrangement between Britain and Ireland uh, does not basically um, basically exempts that situation in the sense that if you're a British traveler and you're traveling into Ireland, it is not a legal uh, requirement or a mandatory requirement for you to produce a passport. You can actually travel from Britain into Ireland without necessarily having a passport. Uh, this is just an old arrangement between the two countries. And so that arrangement continues to exist. Uh, however, it is always advisable to have your passport when you do travel, or you need to have some sort of um, um, identity uh, card on you, so that in the event that you are stopped by any um, sort of border control official or a police uh, man, you will be able to produce for them some kind of identification. However, it is not a legal uh, requirement that if a person is traveling between Britain and mainland Ireland, that they should produce a passport to be able to travel. So that aspect is also um, clarified. 
Now, you know, this, the final question that has also been asked is about the fact that um, this, you know, the old passports uh, that was issued, that were issued by the uh, British Home, uh, basically the British Passport Office that had the 10 year, nine months validity. The question has been asked if these passports, although currently will be rejected by the European Union, if you do use it to travel into the EU zone. But the question has been asked, can it be used to travel to other countries? And the answer is that it's a yes. So this issue with this 10 year, nine months um, passports that were issued by the passport office, that is before uh, September 2018, there is only the European Union that are placing a restriction uh, for access on these passports everywhere else in the world as long as the passport is valid you will be able to use the passport and for example if you do travel to say the united uh, say the usa and your passport um say you know may come to its expiry say at the end of the week there isn't a, a restriction that as long as that passport is valid you will be able to use it and all that you need to ensure is that you will actually return to the United Kingdom before that passport expires. So if you're new to our channel, remember to like our videos, share it, add your comments and uh, contributions. Um, if you have any ideas or if anything that has been mentioned here, uh, you have alternative views about it or you think that any of the information is not accurate, then feel free to put your contributions or your comments in the comments box. Uh, the whole idea is that it's a channel, it's an educational channel where we are all learning every day issues that actually affects our daily lives. And so your contributions are very much welcomed. So thank you once again for watching EEC Art Tools. Until our next video, have a good evening.